everyone. This is a short little tutorial to show you how you can create a nice opening slide for your videos as well as a nice ending slide for your videos. To do that, you can use Google Slides. Of course, there's many other options, but Google Slides has a benefit of having exactly the right format for, let's say, if you're going to make a YouTube video or something like that. So this is a very nice format for YouTube video. So here I have my little slide. I put Awesome Class Number One by Awesome Teacher. And I also labeled my Google Slides the name of the slide of the image that I want. So front slide. So now I can go here under File, Download, just the JPEG of the current slide. So it's going to save as a JPEG. Let's click here. And where is it going to save? It's going to save inside your download folder, which most people don't go to. Mine is a mess, but that's OK. So we're going to go save there. OK. And here, blip, 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 it did that. That means that it's sending it to the downloads. So here we go. We have front slide one. I had tested one and it was not very good because it was a white background. But this one here, so you can see it very nicely, um, the size and everything. So um, there we go. Right, so it looks really nice. And uh, you can close this. You can go inside the folder where it is. And you can, here it is, right? Front slide. You can move this out of here and um, into your desktop. So um, it's right here on mine. And you can save it somewhere nice. You can save it where you actually want it to save, okay? So one thing that I thought that it was worth mentioning is before I start any projects, um, I usually have a folder. For instance, this is my Fine Arts 2019 and all the things that I have found. And then I have a folder, like this is the Art Studio TV folder with all the little videos already made and all. It's a little bit messy in here, but at least it's all here. It's all relevant. My little cricket noise, my, um, my little music is here. I could organize this a little better, but you know, if at least you have one folder that you have everything that is related to that project you're working on, that's already really good. So do that. Um, and then that's where you move this front slide, for instance, right? So let's say I don't have that. I'm going to right click somewhere on my desktop. I'm going to say new folder. And then here I'm going to say rename maybe online learning videos. So now you can put everything that is related to your online learning videos in there, starting by dragging my front slide to it. So now, now you have it there, right? So you can start organizing it in there. Maybe you have subfolders for all your videos. Maybe you have subfolders for the photos and that kind of thing. That's a way to keep organized, right? All right, you guys, hope this is helpful.